Yo, what's up, man? How you doing? Welcome to Risky Behavior. I'm your host, Smelly, and this is Risky News. Risky Behavior. I got a question for you. I'm sure some of y'all out there are parents. I want you to imagine, now God forbid, but I do want you to imagine, what if you lost one of your children? They went missing. And you lost them in the middle of a storm. I know panic is going to set in. You're going to worry and wonder about their safety and well-being. I know the thought alone, you're thinking to yourself, what could possibly be worse than that? I know exactly what's worse than that. What's worse than that is a parent who quite possibly did it on purpose. I know some of y'all are confused about what I'm talking about. I got a news clip for you that I don't think you're going to believe. Check it out. Police discover a one-year-old baby alive in a ditch after surviving Hurricane Barrel, but unfortunately, the baby's four-year-old brother was found dead close by, and now their mother is behind bars for failing to report the children missing. Deputies say they spotted the four-year-old boy in the choppy water with no obvious signs of trauma and no family out looking for him. Deputies managed to get in touch with a family member who identified that four-year-old and said he was last seen with his mother and one-year-old brother. Now, after searching the area nearby, they managed to find the one-year-old alive in a ditch in what they are calling a miracle. New developments tonight after a one-year-old was found crawling alongside a Southwest Louisiana highway and his four-year-old brother found dead in a body of water. Tonight, their mother faces charges of murder and child cruelty. 25-year-old Aaliyah Jack of Lake Charles was arrested in Mississippi after her four-year-old son, Legend, was found dead behind the Louisiana Welcome Center in Vinton Monday. A truck driver spotted her one-year-old son, King Trail, crawling alone next to I-10 on Tuesday morning. Now, officials said the one-year-old survived two days in a ditch near the Louisiana-Texas border, weathering the wind and rain brought by Hurricane Barrel. Now, officials say it's a miracle the baby was found alive. And we looked at this one-year-old as our miracle baby because he was still alive. Unbelievable. Uh, this kid spent two days out in the weather on the side of the highway. Thank God that trucker seen him. Jack was originally arrested on a charge of failure to report a missing child. She now faces a second charge of failure to report a missing child along with a count of second degree murder and a count of cruelty to a juvenile. At last check, Jack was being held in Mississippi on a $9.1 million bond waiting to be extradited back to Louisiana. Aaliyah Jack now faces a murder charge. Tonight, Jack is in a Mississippi jail awaiting extradition back to Louisiana. When the Lake Charles woman returns, she'll face one count of second degree murder, two counts of failure to report a missing child, and one count of cruelty to a juvenile. Her bond has been set at more than $9 million. This all started after her son, four-year-old legend Jack, was found dead Monday behind the Louisiana in a welcome center in Vinton. Then one day later, his one-year-old brother, King Trail, was found alive on the side of the interstate. KPLC's Haley Jefferson spoke to family members still grieving the loss of legend. What is this like a bad nightmare? Like somebody just, let me take a breath. Let me breathe, you know? Like a grandmother in mourning. He was fine, he was, he was okay. She, she took him. She took him. She could have left him here. He had been with us since May. Dion Polk says a legend had been living with her consistently since May. She says the last time she saw her grandchild alive was Saturday when she dropped him off to attend a funeral with his maternal grandmother. Polk says when it was time for pickup, she asked for the address. Look, I'm going to get the address and I'm going to call you back. No, she said, I'm going to send you the address. Well, about three, four minutes passed by. She called me back and she said, girl, I left and left, ran off with them kids. I drove over there so fast. And I'm going to tell you, I say, how in the did you let her take those kids? 
Polk says they searched for Aaliyah, hoping to find legend in his one-year-old brother, King Trail. It was when she saw a report that a child's body was found in Benton, she made a call to 911. I told the man, I say, this may not mean nothing. Like by this time, it's in the evening time. I say, this might not mean nothing. I say, but my grandson, mama, ran off with him Saturday. We've been looking for them. I say, and, uh, I say, he's four. I say, he, but you may think he's six because he's a big four. Four-year-old legend was discovered in the water behind the Welcome Center in Benton. King Trail, just an infant, was found crawling along the interstate miles away. Their mother, Aaliyah Jack, facing charges. Just talk to me a little bit about since legend was born. How was Aaliyah as a mother? She, ever since I've known her, she, she never had a stable place. Never had a house. She always had a car with a lot of stuff in it. Yeah, she never, 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 ever, never had a door that I could knock on for Aaliyah. Now, Aaliyah sits in jail while her family is tasked with burying her little boy. I'm just waiting for him to come in and say, Nanny, is she okay? Because he do that all day. He check on you and make sure you okay. And I tried. I, could, I tried to make sure he was okay, but I couldn't make sure he was okay. <laughs> Because he didn't deserve that. I love you, legend. You know I do. I love you. I'm telling you, you took a piece of me with you. We're also hearing from Aaliyah's mother, Consuela Jack. She told CNN she does not know what led up to Legend's death or how his one-year-old brother ended up on the side of the road. Consuela said she and her daughter had an agreement where she would take care of her two boys and Aaliyah was free to come and see them whenever she wanted. Consuela Jack said, quote, I don't know how anything like this occurred. I don't know what Aaliyah was thinking. I know at this moment, I just want my grandbaby back, end quote. Now, we at 7 News also spoke to the maternal grandmother, Consuela, who said she tried to stop Aaliyah from taking the kids. Consuela also said she still has not talked with her daughter to learn what happened and hopes to reunite with her one-year-old grandson soon. Now, I would hate to think that she was trying to take advantage of a storm and use the whole, I lost my baby in the storm. We got separated. Only problem with that is she didn't report the child missing. And I think it points to a very serious issue that we have in this country is that we ignore mental health. We give people excuses and it ends up being that the children are the ones that suffer because of our adults and our decisions. And no one seems to care about protecting children. The systematic ignoring of mental health crisis in women has far reaching consequences that extend beyond the individual sufferer to impact the well being of their children. When mothers are not equipped with the necessary support and resources to address their mental health struggles, their ability to cope with everyday challenges is severely compromised. This places not only the mothers themselves at risk, but also endangers the safety and stability of their children. Children rely on their mothers as primary caregivers and role models. And when maternal mental health issues are neglected or overlooked, the resulting stress instability, and potential breakdown in caregiving can have profound negative effects on the development and emotional well-being of their children. It is imperative that society recognizes and addresses the mental health needs of women, particularly mothers, to ensure the safety and welfare of both women and their children. Risky Behavior